Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So glad you're here. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. We are going to be doing some spooky shopping today at Joann's and Michael's. So here we go. I'm so excited. I uh, always get excited. Um, this year, earlier, of course, than previously, but I am so excited to be looking at all the spooky merchandise because you you all know I live for this stuff. I love Halloween. It's my favorite holiday. And I love any kind of horror movies. You know, Michael Myers. He's my guy. He's my guy. Um... Well, Jeepers Creepers, we can't leave him out. He's he's my dude, too. But, yes, it is July, and we are looking at spooky merchandise. Um, this is uh, Joanne's Fabrics, if I didn't already say it. But uh, I had to do a voiceover because they had Paula Abdul blasting. <laughs> and I didn't want to get demonetized, so... Anyways, we are looking at some cool skeletons. This guy I love. You gotta get a listen to this. I've been dying to see you. Isn't he the coolest? I just love him. I, I like him. I want him so bad. I want to sit him, <laughs> sit him in my house for sure. This guy's cool too. I love me some skeletons. This one was cool because he's really big. You have these yard stakes that are, you know, small and they don't really make an impact. But that guy, he is, he's really big. So he would be neat. And these witches hats were cool because they had the little orange lights. The little, like, little fairy lights all kind of weaved in there. So I thought those were cool too. And, um... I've shown you the price tags on all of these, but obviously it's not the uh, actual price because they've always usually got some kind of sale going on. Look at how big this skull is. 40% off is what they had going on right now. And their shelves were really sparse right now. But honestly, if you see something that you like, um, grab it while you can because there are so many people out spooky shopping right now that um, if it's an item that there's only a handful of and you pass it up now you'll be kicking yourself in the butt later because as it gets closer to Halloween all the normal <laughs> people will be out looking for Halloween and um, anyways it won't be there so don't do that but I love these mats too they are so cool this guy right here I thought was neat because it's you know one of those um 
little spinners that is moves by uh, wind and I thought that would be neat in a garden this I thought was cool it had the little um, you know spider <laughs> I love the traditional witch in the moon flying in the moon and I love me some ghosties too these guys were their whole ghost theme they had going on um, was, which is a little different than what you normally see These guys, it was just the one that had a uh, function to it, which is just that the pumpkin lights up. See, look how empty the shelves are right now. There, I mean, there was a decent amount of stuff there to look at for sure, but, um, you know, I don't know what they got coming. Now this guy right here. <laughs> I wanted him so bad, and there was only two of him. He's $39.99, okay, less 40%, but look at that. I loved him. You know, <laughs> I might have to go back and get him. Somebody was playing in the Halloween. Look what they got going on here. I had to get it. I had to video that because I thought it was funny. Somebody was playing around. They have all these. Well, this guy right here. Um, he was metal. He was heavy. Um, a door knocker. You know, $50, but of course, less 50%. But that would be a cool, um, you know, Halloween accessory for sure. To hang on your wall all the halloween boxes and then this stuff right here i was not honestly really impressed with it seemed kind of i don't know cheapy to me which is sad <laughs> because joanne's last year was so cool um all the merchandise they had was just so cool it was kind of like a a witchy foresty kind of theme and i really loved it and i i mean Unless they've got stuff coming in that I don't know of. Um, yeah, I was a little disappointed with this. I don't know what anybody else thinks about it. But it just seemed kind of kind of cheapy. Some of it did. And um, anyways, let me know what you think about it. Leave it in the comments. Tell me what you think. Or if, you know, you've already been to a Joann's that's got some um, more items that I'm unaware of. But, yeah, I mean, their towels and everything they had, they were grown up. They were the kind of towels that were spooky. Um, you know, like the accessories and stuff that they had, and like the bats and everything. But there was something that you could leave in your home and use year round, like this eye that I'm showing you in that mirror, the welcome mirror I showed you. But I don't know, this other stuff, I'm just not feeling the vibe. That was kind of neat, kind of, it kind of reminded me of an apple, not a pumpkin. Um, and it's kind of got that little sparkly thing going on. Now, I don't know if you guys are like I am, but once it starts to get cooler, I go for the fleece fabrics and um, the fleece fabrics are like what I make my pillowcases out of and of course blankets but they uh, had some really cool fleece I'll show you some more soon but yeah I use them for pillowcases I switch over in the winter time to the fleece and um, I use my spooky fabric look at that cookie jar <laughs> yeah they had lots of kitchen kitchen stuff two different types of see there's that ghost i was telling you about look how his arms are kind of out so he's different definitely different than what they had last year the cauldron was nice it had kind of like an embossed spider web pattern on it which i thought was kind of cool that would be neat I think sitting out with um you know Halloween candies in it. And I always love the tr traditional pumpkin like the jack o' lantern faces. I always think there's a cool all of your paper plates and napkins. They had lots of that stuff there. And the traditional fall, I don't know. I'm just not feeling it. <laughs> I don't feel I, I you know these were okay, I guess. They're uh, like a fabric-y um, pipe uh, pumpkin, but yeah, I'm I'm all about the uh, the Halloween vibes, the spooky vibes. So traditional Halloween with all the little hay and the trucks and uh, apple orchards and stuff. I'm just I'm just not with that vibe. So 
if you are, you know, that's cool. That's cool. We can still be friends. <laughs> but that's not me okay here's some more fabric more more fleece fabric look they have the kitty and then we've got the ghosty and then there's um the jack-o-lanterns um some with witches hats i thought those were cool fat that was cool fabric and then we have the owl and there may have been more that i didn't quite catch but and i think there was an eye too 14.99 for a yard the kitty is just look at the kitty awesome black cat and the, the crows and then I think here's the eye yeah so they're cool I love the fleece fabrics We have a lot of picks. Um, some of them were kind of nice. Uh, but honestly, you'll see next. I was really feeling the uh, Michaels picks <laughs> big time. I thought they really did a good job with their picks on the uh, Halloween picks. And, uh, I mean, these were pretty good. Yeah, but uh, the Michaels ones were way cooler. And I always like the Velvet Pumpkins, though. Yeah, I, I, I go for them velvet pumpkins. Moss is definitely a necessity when you're decorating for Halloween. And they had a, just a little bit here. You know, the candy corn and that. Which I'm not cool with because it ticks me off. Because you get only one or two years use out of that. And that like foamy stuff that they make them out of. It like breaks off and chips. And, and then it looks like crud. Yeah, they only had a, a handful of the cool picks. These were kind of cool because, you know, it had bats, you know. Bats are cool. Little succulent in the uh, kitty cat planner. And then we had some crows. We are at Michael's now. See, look how cool their picks are. Now, these would be neat. Um, just for the hats because I would take them hats off <laughs> and I would use them on different things. Um, you know, sit them around, put them on one of my dolls. Um, you know, these pumpkins were cool too with the polka dots and the stripes. I liked those and so much, much more. <laughs> and I ended up with not getting one thing from Joann's and I did get a couple things at Michael's but um, I hope Michael's has got a lot more coming in but yeah they really had the uh, the corner market here on these picks and I just couldn't leave this area <laughs> these were cool they're kind of like feathers um, they kind of remind me of those ostrich feathers and then you had um, you know your traditional candy corn and boo and all that stuff these were kind of cute they're like you know, like a flag is what they reminded me of. But they were too, I don't know. You got your checkered fabric and stuff, and I'm just not about that. It's the whole harvest thing, you know? I'm just not into the harvest stuff. I'm into the creepy scary. <laughs> that's that's what I like. You know, it's got its place. It's, it's got its place. But, yeah, I just couldn't stop. And then I found the mummy, and I thought he was the coolest thing ever. There's a haunted house, and oh, the mummy, and what else was that? Was it a ghost? There's the mummy. I thought he was cute as heck. Oh, it's the skeleton, I think. Yeah, skeleton guy. I thought he was cool. And we got witch's legs, of course. You have to have those. And the hands with the, uh, you know, purple flowers. But look at these guys. <laughs> the white ones. And then we got the black ones with the eyeballs inside. Gotta have flowers with eyeballs in them. That's a necessity. <laughs> but these skulls with the flowers on top with the little greenery. I thought that was kind of cool. Definitely kind of cool. I'm not flipping you off in the picture. It's just, it just kind of happened that way. Now, um, these that remind me of the laboratory equipment, 
I thought those were really cool. That I would use all the time for just like a flower vase. You know how I am, guys. I would definitely use it for a flower vase. So those would be cool for Mad Scientist. Plus we have all of the candy that they have up there. Those were snakes. Um, they had, you know, like bones and brains and all that kind of stuff. And they all, I don't know if it's healthy for you <laughs> to ingest these, but for some, somehow they glow, <laughs> they glow. So these were cool. The glass coffins. I like those. Put some moss in the bottom of them and then lay you one of your little plastic skeletons inside of there. Awesome. Very cool. Halloween display. I wanted to get the smaller one, but obviously, like I said, I couldn't get it right now. I'm I'm strapped for cash. Dang it. We have a doll planter. <laughs> Look at this. They got black goo coming out the eyeballs. But yeah, those were planters there. I thought those were kind of neat. They had um, the cauldron and the skeleton. And this one right here was like a heart, a black heart but it was kind of on a pedestal. Lots more little accessories, but what I really thought was neat was these little clips that they had, which I'm not sure if anybody else has noticed these or not, but they had these sheet moss, which I thought would be fantastic. Um, it's just a square. It's nice and thick and see how it's got that three-dimensional look to it They had ones that kind of had a purplier hue, but I wasn't into that see the clips mushrooms purple mushrooms Purple and black kind of and then they had like this pinkish purpley color and then they also had um, the like moths which I thought was really, really neat because you could clip those into your, you know, your Halloween decor. If you don't have taxidermy or, <laughs> you know, insects around the house like I do, um, these would be definitely a great alternative to add that to your, your you know, decorations. Venus flytrap, he was kind of cool. They had a few different colors, but that one's the one that looked more realistic. And then we have all of this Halloween town. Um, I think it's called Spooky Town, actually. Those are expensive. So, I mean, if you're going to get into that, you're going to be spending, spending some bucks. But they are so cool because they are lit and some of them are animated. And if you want to have like a whole scene set up, they're neat and they have a bunch of figurines too that you can put through your spooky town to uh you know kind of add more depth to it but i thought the reaper was cool there were so many of them i could have been there you know shooting all the different stuff and the details but they have so many different little accessories the pumpkins and that i thought was cool here's a few of the people that they had the guy on the end obviously was my favorite guy which is the uh, skeleton he's all dressed up dapper he's got his top hat and his cane these are not technically halloween but they would be awesome for halloween we have the vials and i think they were ten dollars for that whole pack but this for sure is cool for halloween you have all the different um precious stones in that like crystals and that would be good for, you know, Halloween, which for sure, for sure, for sure. <laughs> and that was actually, it was crossed out because it said 14 something, but I think it's actually $12.99 and you got all of those vials um, for that price. These were all charms. I ended up taking the little mini pictures, picture frames, that's what I bought. And then I got the bat wings because I think the bat wings I'm going to use on my doll, of course, I've got a little tiny china head doll um, that would be awesome to put bat wings on her for Halloween. So I think I'm going to do that. But there's a lot of different ones to choose from. So you can accessorize yourself for Halloween. Get your spooky necklace. Get the ones with the vials or something. Put some little stuff in there. But yeah, I thought that was cool. And they were all priced, I mean, around $5. So I thought that was a good price. They weren't on sale, obviously, because I liked them. So 
I ended up having to pay $5 a piece for them, but that's fine. I hope you enjoyed our fun little trip to go spooky shopping. And until next time, guys, nope. see you later.